to show you guys how to have perfect pass protection in Madden 23. This video is going to make you win more games. Let's get into it. YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Duke back here from sportsgamers.com. And guys, I got a fire Madden 23 tip video for you guys today. I have to break down the best pass protection tip in the game. This is the tip the pros use. This is a secret the pros don't want you to know. This tip is going to allow you to block all the best blitzes in the game very, very easily. So, I mean, we all know there's a lot of good blitzes in this year's game. Pass protection is pretty bad. The running backs, you know, oftentimes just block the wrong guy. But what I'm about to show you is going to easily allow you to get around this. You can do this from any playbook and really any formation. I would say it's best to use this from gun formations just because it's easier to control who the running back blocks when he's to the left or the right of the quarterback versus directly behind him as if he would be under center. So just to show you guys a few different examples, we can just get in gun bunch, right? Gun bunch, very, very simple formation. You can pick any play. I'm in the New Orleans Saints playbook in this video, but it truly does not matter. So a great example of this would be over Storm Brave. A lot of players run over Storm Brave. And before I break this tip down, I just want to remind you guys that I do free daily tip videos on my Madden 23 channel, Sports Gamers. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Drop us a like on this video. If we can get to 300 likes on this video, I'll post another fire video absolutely free for you guys on my channel. And comment. Literally any comment will help me a lot, whether it's an emoji, one word, whatever. So a lot of players will see a blitz like this. They'll block their running back. And the thing is, with that, it really, you know, it's going to be hit or miss if it works. Now, as you guys can see here, blocking the running back doesn't, doesn't really... Um, you know, exactly do that much at the end of the day. For my free YouTube content, I highly recommend checking out sportsgamers.com. This is where I post all my premium content for Madden 23. I have offensive and defensive ebooks, schemes, plus I do four to six premium tips every week in the Madden Vault to keep you guys ahead of the game. Our best offer yet is the Sports Gamers Madden VIP membership. This is the best Madden membership anywhere on the net, the best content at the best price. You would access to the entire site for only $24.99. This means all of our ebooks, all of our Madden Vault tips, plus you even get access to our meta reports and our exclusive VIP members only community. I also do one on one coaching as well for you guys that are interested in that. See you at sportsgamers.com. If you're serious about winning more games, I will post a link in the description as well as in the comments. Because the running back. On this year's game, unfortunately, by default, he really does not know what he's doing, who to block. He gets confused very easily. You know, he, he's just not consistently doing what we need him to do. So just to show you guys in this example, before I break down the tip to fix this, um, you guys see the running back stays in, but he kind of gets sucked into the middle. A lot of that has to do with where our user is, um, but also because this splits in particular, he kind of gets pressure not only up the middle, but on the edge as well. The running back really doesn't know what to do. And, you know, it basically results in, you know, we have six blitzers here, right? We have six blockers. That means that we should be able to get a hat on a hat and pick this blitz up. But unfortunately, that's just not happening here. We have just, you know, five O-linemen plus the running back six, four D-linemen, two linebackers. Again, that's six. Just not doing a very good job. You guys can see here, not at all. all right. Basically, what is happening here is the guard is just blocking nobody. Because he thinks I'm rushing, even though I'm not. So, how to get around this? It's pretty simple. You want to use a combination of ID the mic and slide protection. So, this is something that, like I said, pro players know that they want to keep a secret. This is something that if you were a Sports Gamers VIP member, you would have known this like a month or two ago. That's why I had this up on the site. Let me give you guys a little snippet of the content in the vault as a VIP member, free on YouTube. But make sure you sign up as a VIP member to get all this type of content right when it's released. So basically, guys, the best way to block these types of blitzes is actually to use slide protection away from the running back. What that means is in an example like this, the running back is on the left. You would want to slide protect away from him to the right. So that's basically going to tell the O-line to block everybody to the right right so it's going to leave when you do this the furthest player to the left unblocked and if we id him so in this case since we're slide protecting to the right that'd be the lefty end if we id him that's going to make sure the running back picks him up so by setting up this protection this way it should make sure that nobody comes completely free as you guys can see here 
perfect protection. The O line blocks the all the defenders coming off the right side. They slide to the right, just as I tell them to. As you guys can see, the O line picks up everybody except for the D end on the left. Remember, we slide protect away from the running back since the running back's on the left, and we slide protect right. That allows everybody to get picked up other than the D end on the left. And remember, because we knew this, we ID the mic as the D end on the left of the screen. See the running back just perfectly waits for him, completely blocks him. Nobody's coming free. I have plenty of time to make a sandwich, close the door, <laughs> make all my reads, and easily dot the defense. So that's very, very nice. And that's something you guys can do from any formation. So let's say that maybe I've picked a different formation. Um, it, it really doesn't matter. I could just pick tight, for example, excuse me, example. And we could have the running back on the right of the screen this time. So in a case like this, you know, we're going to probably have a situation where, you know, they're going to, normally if they're usually, they always stand kind of by the running back in case the running back goes out in the flat so they can guard him. But, you know, we're going to block the running back. Now, again, this time the running back is to the right of the quarterback. So since he's to the right of the quarterback, we slide protect away from the running back. This means we slide protect to the left, which is to the left on the right analog stick. All right. So now that we've done that, remember, that means they're going to pick up everybody the lines are slide to the left to pick up the threats to the left. That means we need to ID the furthest, most right threat, which would be, the, in this case, the DN on the left. We ID the mic. That means that the running back should pick him up, just as he does here. And again, we have plenty of time to go through our reads and easily make the throw and the catch for the conversion. So check this out. Again, the O-line does a great job. You can literally see if you key in on 65, you can see they're sliding to a step to the right. That makes sure all those guys get picked up man to man, hat to hat. Only the DN is coming free. And when the running back knows what he's doing this year on who to target to the block, he actually does a pretty good job. As you guys can see here, he's not confused at all. He actually gets a cut block, gets him on the ground. And I mean, honestly, I had a touchdown here to this post. This is actually a really good man meter. I had a touchdown here, but I just wanted a little speed out to the tight end. I wasn't really paying attention to the reads too much. Just want to give you guys a look at the blocking. You guys saw the first example I did on this video. This blitz absolutely killed me. Now it's easily picked up. And, you know, I'm having all day long to make my reads. Wide open players. Easy dots. Now, you might be wondering, can you apply this to other defenses? Sure. Somebody might run, say, dollar spinner on you. No problem at all. Let's just get into another play. I'll just pick, for example... Why sale? Doesn't really matter the play. But, you know, a lot of times people will, you know, do a defense like this where, you know, they're just wanting to make sure that they try to get their, you know, DB free off the edge. And, you know, the thing with this is once again, if we don't ID the DB, the guy who's the threat, we're going to get screwed. So I'm going to slot protect to the left, ID the slot blitzing corner on the running back side. So oftentimes people who run a defense like this will use their user to kind of like distract the guard and try to get that slot corner opposite to come off the edge. And again, these types of blitzes are actually really, really hard to block this year because the running back doesn't really oftentimes know what to do. So again, if I slide away from him to the left and then I need the slot corner on his side of the screen, which is the right, he should be able to pick this guy up as long as we step up in the pocket, boom. That's actually another very important tip, especially against slot corner blitzes step up in the pocket because when you step up in the pocket it really makes it difficult for those slot corners to run around the guy that's supposed to block them and here as you guys can see again i id the corner on the right side of the screen he was not confused at all he's you know basically waited at home to, to block him i can step up in the pocket and the deep tackle almost shed it here which you know you can't really avoid that but again i had all day long to make my reads now, this would have even worked if they said an extra player, like say that they sent that linebacker that's lurking or whatever, and sent a five-man rush. This still would have been able to pick this up. As you guys can see, I had double teams all over the place, and that was just only because, you know, there's only four people rushing in this example. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. This pass protection tip should really, really help your offense out, you know, because on this year's game, honestly, if you have enough time to get around these man-to-man -man blitzes, uh, and blitzes in general, you should be able to make your reads. And the coverage on this year's game, once you figure out the types of routes and whatever the beat coverage is, it's really not that hard to beat. It's just all about getting time with the pressure. So, till next time, it's Duke.